games here, how excited or, or do you try to temper your excitement for this game? Um, uh, as an athlete, man, you, you got to take it day by day during the week. Um, there's so much preparation that goes into this game. Um, we're taking it like any other week. Uh, we know what's at stake for this game, though. But um, like I said, like uh, today, Coach O, it's, it's a Monday. And tomorrow's going to be a Tuesday. The next day is going to be Wednesday and so on and so forth. So that's how we're going to take it on. What about the, the build-up to this game? Um, you know, a couple of years ago, you guys were there. Coach said you were coming. You, know, mm. you guys have made these improvements, whether it be the coaching or the quarterback play or the defensive line play. Right. Have you seen those as a player, like, propel you guys through this moment? Right. Uh, everything, that, everything that we've done during spring uh, for fall camp is uh, built up for this moment right here. Um, we wouldn't. It'd be lying if we said that uh, we worked this hard not to get in, not to be in this position. Um, I mean, I mean, th this is what we in, that's what we're in a weight room for. That's why we do extra uh, film study. This is why we come in and get extra. That's why we come and run perfect experience and make our times uh, for the opportunity um, opportunities like this. How is the preparation in the secondary? I guess obviously it's ran kind of questionable to mm -hmm. practice. Puts more pressure on you as step up, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, we, we, we just try to figure it out. I mean, like, Coach O has the next man up mentality. And um, if Grant can't go, we just got to we just gotta be next man up. Just like uh, how I got my opportunity last year when John Battle went down, um, I stepped up, and now I'm in the role that I'm in now. So um, there's going to be opportunities for a lot of people to, to uh, make a name for themselves in this game. When you press Alabama this week, are you looking at both Mac Jones and Tua? Yeah, I mean, you never know what they're going to throw. Um, I mean, at their camp, you know, we're paying attention to what they're saying, who's going to play and who's practicing or not. But um, for us, it's smart for us to prepare for both uh, both quarterbacks because you never know what goes on in the game. You know, um, may, Tua may start and Mac may finish or Tua may play or Mac may play. So it'd be, it'd be smart to kind of uh, prepare for either outcome or either game plan that they have. Um, Alabama's receivers are uh, are the best receivers we're going to see that aside from ours, I believe. Um, they have uh, a good receiver, a great receiver group. Um, I mean, and they have guys that can make plays and guys that can make you miss in space. But um, like I said, with our guys that we see every day in and out in practice, gives us, gives us a good look on what we're going to see on Saturday. Um, and, and that's what we're missing from last year. Last year we didn't see any. Um, we, we didn't have an offense that kind of uh, mirrored Alabama's offense. I feel like this year we've seen that type of offense and type of explosiveness from our offense for, since uh, spring football when Joe Brady got here and as a passing game coordinator and kind of opened everything up. Jacoby, with Tua, if he does play, when it comes to a quarterback of his caliber, what do you guys need to do defensively to, to rattle him a little bit, to mm. shake him up, to maybe second guess himself? Because right. He's obviously so talented. Right. Um, we just got to get him uh, different looks, just like. Um, just like some guys, uh, how they do in the in the NFL. When you have you play against a good quarterback, you don't want to show them a you don't want to show them the same look. You don't want to show them the simple cover two or cover three look because they can just uh, dice you and also when put pressure in his face. So you want to disguise and and disguise like you're about to be in coverage and and, and send a blitz, but also you know, but also kind of um, just have a safety net behind you. You you, you want to play aggressive. You don't want to be too lax and just sit in the zone because he can. He, uh, Tua has the arm strength just to uh, squeeze the ball and, and tight holes. So you don't want to also sit in zone. So you want to be aggressive and also do different things like that. Two more, two more. It, seems, it seems that uh, there's a lot of talk about the wide receivers, but a little off camera game question. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what kind of a representative or leader would you say that Clyde Edwards Hilaire is in the locker room? I mean, Clyde leads by example. Um, Clyde, Clyde's going to do everything right. Um, you never, you never see him. You never see him in the wrong places. Uh, that, that's somebody that I trust. Um, like I, with Clyde, I, I don't have to worry about anything going wrong. I don't. Have, I mean, I, I, I trust Clyde with my dogs. I, I, I allow Clyde to watch my dogs. And I don't say that just about anybody. Um, you know, I, I think Clyde is a is a great leader, and he's going to be a great leader from uh, here and, and on to the next level. How do you defend the slant? The slant, the uh, glance shot that they run. Um, we're figuring that out right now. I mean, uh, Coach Rand and the guys been uh, doing the, uh, been game planning for this game since last week, and we're gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what, how you're gonna, you know. But uh, 
we have a game plan and we're going to try to execute it. Is it more about the talent That's on the fine. field and matching up and man-to-man, -man, or is it positional? Does it have to be a combination of both? Uh, like I said, the last question about how you do, um, how you slow down a good quarterback. You, you, you got to play, you got to do different things. You can't do the same thing over and over again because he's going to make the in-game in adjustment. So, um, like I said, we, we have a game plan and we're just going to have to try to execute it on Saturday. Thank you, Coach. Mm. I, last mm. offense, sorry. Mm. I mean, last year, too, it wasn't 100%. Mm. It's still extremely mm. effective. So, I mean, going into this matchup, do you want to say he's 80% of right. himself? I mean, how explosive was he on the field last year? Because even with the right. with uh, one wheel, he had, I think it was like a 40 yard Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, although uh, Tua may be coming in, uh, they say he's coming in a uh, little hurt and injured. When, when you're playing, you don't you, you don't um, take off of him or you don't um, play as hard because he may have a little injury. You don't expect him you, when you play um, on Saturday and get on the field. You expect you expect him to make the throws that he made when he's 100%. Um, and you, you just can't depend on the injury to work in our favor. You got it. When he steps on the field, uh, you got to know that he's he's capable of making these throws. He's shown it on film. So uh, we, we just can't let the, the uh, injury stuff get to us. We got to play our game.